Our search for the finest has brought us here to the corner of Oak Street and Michigan Avenue. One mag mile. Homeless Piaggio. Its authentic Italian regional dishes are matched only by this gorgeous architecture. Spiaggia can boast one of the most beautiful dining rooms in the city. With carefully tiered dining sections that offer a beautiful view of the lake. In the kitchen, this medley of fresh seafood was blended together by executive chef Paul Bartolotto to create one of his specialty dishes, the Zuppa da Pesce. Well, we're going to do two dishes. The first one that we're going to start with is a white wine seafood stew that we're going to do. And it's a combination of all different seafoods. And there's sort of a misconception about Italian cooking that all seafood stews are made always with tomato sauce. So we're going to do one with just white wine, scented with a little bit of fresh tarragon for you today. So we have some langostinos. We have a small amount of a baby octopus, a few shrimp for you clams and mussels, some calamari, maybe we'll put in a scallop or two, a little bit of sea bass, and a little bit of the imported red mullet, and the red snapper. Okay, so we got a nice hot pan going. We're going to use a little bit of olive oil in the pan here. add some of our seafood and the only thing that we're not going to add is the red mullet because it's very very small and very delicate we're going to add that right here the end. okay i'm going to add a couple of bay leaves now to this Just before we deglaze, we're going to add a little bit of chopped, chopped garlic and make sure that that gets slightly cooked. You never want to burn the garlic, but you definitely want to make sure that the garlic is cooked. So I always remove it from the heat, make a little space for it, and work it in real, real slow. In this case, it may need a couple more drops of oil in here. You don't want to burn the garlic, but you definitely want to go on and off the heat till the garlic is cooked. That's very important. You don't want it to be raw. You want to be delicate with everything. Nice color on the scallop, just a little bit. Careful with some of the nice color on the on the bass. Now I'm going to deglaze with a little bit of the cognac and then a little bit of the white wine. And uh, when you do this, careful to stay away from the fire because you can. So I always remove it from the heat for safety reasons, and then I add my cognac. All of that evaporated. That cognac flavor, get that all evaporated. And then a little bit of white wine as well. Okay. Now I'm going to put this just a minute in the oven to cook. Cover that up. Make sure. And again, the red mullet will be the very last thing that we add because it's so small. Okay, so we're going to add a little chopped tomato now to this. A little chopped tomato, so get a little bit of color. But again, it's not this big, big, strong tomato stew, seafood stew that everybody knows is so Italian. It's just a little bit for color. We're going to add one pat of butter to sort of soften up the flavor. Okay, that's a pat. It's a pat. That's a pet. Okay. Small amount of freshly chopped parsley. And then a little drizzle of olive oil. It's just about done. And although it looks like lots and lots of seafood, that nice white wine broth. There is 
some shells in here. It seems like. Oh. I like the garnish with a little bay leaf standing up here. Maybe a little bit of fresh tarragon on the inside, so they understand there's tarragon. And then a little few grilled post points around the outside. This is Zuppa di Pesce del Riviera from the, from the coastal area, Alvino Bianco with white wine, a dragoncello with tarragon. We're at Spiaggia on North Michigan Avenue. We're with Chef Paul Bartolotta. Thanks for having us here. Thanks, Dave. Uh, Paul, Paul has just won the James Beard Best Chef in Midwest Award. Congratulations. Um, earlier we watched him make some of his special seafood dishes. And before you tell us what they are, why don't you just give us a little history of Spiaggia and tell us about your philosophy on food. Well, let's see. Spiaggia's been open here on uh, Michigan Avenue. We're located in Oak in uh, Michigan. And we've been here about 10 years. Just had our 10th anniversary. Real excited about that. We do anything from uh, very traditional items to items that are modern interpretations on regionally inspired themes. Also, we have some dishes that are own, my own personal creative sort of things that I play with a little bit, but all that would fit within the context of Italian cooking. This is delicious. Thank you, sir. What else do we have? Well, I, I had them bring out a couple of different other other things for you to try. Um, this one here, it's a layered marinated swordfish terrine. Okay. With cucumbers and fresh tomato. And the other one, uh, getting a little bit away from seafood, is a is a, a breast of, uh, of goose that's just lightly marinated with uh, extra virgin olive oil and lemon. It's first marinated and smoked. Then we slice it and we marinate again with oh, extra virgin olive oil and lemon. It's served with a little salad of zucchini underneath. Paul, I want to thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very uh, much for your interest. I want to I toast you, and here's your good health. And